Shalom, welcome to the Sermon TV, cherished viewers, to a voyage through time and space, to a turning point in human history. Today, we start a remarkable informational journey on sperm and what the Bible says about it. As we know that sperm is the male reproductive cell but according to sight of God, it is a seed that produces generations. Bible says, according to 1 Corinthians 15 verse 37, when you sow, you do not plant the body that will be, but just a seed, perhaps of wheat or of something else. What does the Bible say about sperm ejaculating when lying in bed at night? Most people lose sperm in bed as a result of having romantic or sexually suggestive dreams. Whenever it occurs to us, we feel so filthy. However, let's see what the Bible says in accordance with Leviticus 15 verses 16 and 17 to discover what God is saying about it. When a man releases semen, he must take a full body water bath or else he will remain filthy till sunset. Semen covered leather or clothing must be cleansed with water and will remain filthy until evening. According to Book of Revelations 22.14, we must bathe not only physically but also spiritually and psychologically. We have to do daily prayer and meditating the word for renewing the mind and cleansing the soul to maintain a purity of Jesus Christ. Masturbation What does the Bible have to say about masturbation? We are attempting to forcibly extract our sperm using this technique. Do you realize that sperm contains a life? A sperm takes between 70 and 90 days to mature, or become wise, therefore if you use that wise sperm to procreate, your generation will be endowed with mature blessings. Masturbation kills your mature sperm, therefore avoid doing it to avoid losing sperm. The importance of blessed sperm according to stories in Bible. God gave us sperm, which means that he preserved all of his benefits in us, including nations, monarchs, business magnets, prophets, etc. Please refrain from masturbating as a result. As we consider the biblical account in Genesis 38 9, 10, 9 Onan, however, was aware that the child would not be his, so he always dumped his semen on the ground after having a sexual encounter with his brother's wife in order to avoid bearing his brother a child. 10. Since what he did was evil in the eyes of the Lord, the Lord also put him to death. God loathed it when he masturbated and killed him because he was wasting what God had kept in him. Nowadays, Satan encourages youth to look at pornography and to concentrate on masturbation. They were dependent on it, as a result, they lost their promising future and even a strong generation. Conclusion, according to the Lord, masturbation is a satanic practice, but ejaculation is a natural process. According to science and spermatology, if you don't masturbate, your sperm will still come out of your testicles while you're asleep or having a love dream. Ejaculation is a natural bodily activity and is not done in a bad way. Many young people suffer from depression as a result of this issue, but this information is very special and vital to them. Thus God wants everyone to share this video in order to build a pure or clean generation in Jesus' name. We appreciate your company as we explore what the Bible says about sperm. Their testimonies serve as a reminder of the price of discipleship and an encouragement to live out our faith bravely and devotedly. Consider liking, sharing, and subscribing to our channel for more informative videos on sperm. May God richly bless you as you pursue your spiritual life. For more motivational information, don't forget to watch our other videos and join our channel. 
We appreciate you watching and wish you inspiration to openly live out your beliefs. Till then, be careful.